Morgan Slumberger. I have owned several profitable businesses and run a women's collegiate entrepreneurial program. I feel really lucky to start this video series with Cassie Strong, my business partner, to help women all over the world become more profitable in their business endeavors. So today we're gonna to focus on customer pains, and that's one of three things that you wanna consider when you're looking at defining value for customers. Let's start with an example of finding a skincare regimen or taking care of your skin. You might consider yours or your friends and family's approach to making a purchase or getting that job done of taking care of your skin. Along the way, you might encounter some things that inhibit that purchase or interfere with that purchase or are just simply annoying to that purchase. So what are some of those customer pains that you might experience? Customers make a purchase based on if something is valuable to them or not. Considering customer pains helps you to consider the customer experience and also make your product and refine it so that it's a little more valuable to your customers. More value for your customer hopefully makes your business more profitable. Some example pains might be that you are only seeing products that are super expensive. You also might see products that don't represent who you are or what you look like. You might also have a fear of what the outcome of using a product is. Is it gonna give you hives after you apply it to your face? Um, you also might have an issue with the time it takes or the sense of overwhelm you encounter when looking at products in an aisle or how do you know something's quality over just something that's kind of crummy what's going to make a big impact for you those are just some examples that you might consider um, or someone might consider as they're trying to make a purchase or get a job done as a business owner, how are you going to consider some of those pains in your design of your product or service? Getting to know some of those pains will inevitably help you to anticipate what a customer might experience and how you might reposition your business, product, or service uh, with that pain in mind. Please post below in the comments section if you have any personal examples of customer pains. Um, we'd love to know how you might be remedying those on your own terms and also if you have anything to share with some of our other followers as far as how you might have anticipated some of those needs and what are the strategies you're building around those. In addition, we wanted to let you know that we are running some amazing women's business retreats where we're experiencing and helping women experience the power of being together in a place in the mountains with world-renowned experts who come to focus time on your business. If you're interested at all, please comment below and we'll get in touch with you on a personal level. Hi, Cassie and Morgan here. Thanks for tuning in to Bossy. We are really excited and hope that you enjoyed the video that you saw. If so, subscribe to our channel. Also, we offer awesome retreats for women and female founders who are looking to expand and grow their business. Also, thank you to our partners, Cambium and Place at Old Sawmill District, Missoula's newest urban neighborhood where you can live, work, and play.